Happy Monday everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be doing a cooking vlog. So we've just got the unofficial Disney Parks cookbook, you know the one that everybody's buying at the moment. And we're going to make some cheeseburger spring rolls and pizza spring rolls. Very quick, very simple to make, should take what 20 minutes maybe maximum. Uh, plus it's spring at the moment in the UK, well at least it's supposed to be. I'm looking out the window now and it's pouring down outside. So we're going to make them anyway. Okay, so we have the ingredients that we need to make the cheeseburger spring rolls. We have um, lean minced beef, which we'll probably use about half of that. We've got an onion, mustard, salt, pepper, some mini little gherkins that we're going to chop up and put in the mix as well. And also the oil, which we'll, um, we'll put the spring rolls in to cook after we've put everything together. When I say we're making it. <laughs> I'm making it. I mean, Claire's, Claire's going to be making it. And Nick's going to be supervising. <laughs> I'm gonna be telling Claire what ingredients we need from this book. So this is the plan today. Cheeseburger spring rolls, pizza spring rolls. What are we making first, the cheeseburger ones? The cheeseburger ones, yeah. All right, so it tells you where to get them from as well. If you're in the Magic Kingdom in Disney World, Florida, you go to Adventureland. The stage up to at the minute is I've just um, chopped the gherkins and the onion and put half the mince in a pan with a little bit of oil and that's just simmering away. Um, once the mince is browned, I'm going to put the salt and pepper, mustard and ketchup in the pan. In the meantime, I'm just going to crack and break the egg and also grate some cheese that's going to be added in at the end as well. Edit. The egg isn't going to be added in, the egg is to put on the spring rolls to make it stick. Completely different instructions to what's in the book by the looks of it. No, it's not. In a large skillet over medium heat, heat one tablespoon oil. I've done that. Oh, we've done that part. All right. I've done it all. I've not added garlic. All right. I'm going to put garlic in it. So basically, it's going to be a cheeseburger spring roll, but it's going to be Claire's own recipe. <laughs> so we're not really following the book at all, to be fair. I do, I do follow, I never follow recipes. I've taken all the ingredients and I've just done the mince how I would normally do it and then I'm obviously adding in, we'd never use gherkins or mustard or ketchup in mince but um, obviously that's the ingredient so I'm just going to do that. The spring, yeah. roll, the spring roll section I will obviously follow because I've never made them before. So the thing I do like about this book, a lot of this uh, is wrote with things like ounces uh, and cup sizes etc which you obviously use in America but then it's got the metric conversion as well which I think is what we're supposed to use. So Claire is kind of following it. It asks for one tablespoon of ketchup, one tablespoon yellow mustard. And there's the egg. It doesn't seem like a lot considering yeah, it's not that mince. Seems like we should have had more than a tablespoon. Right, that's what it says. Oh, <laughs> so, again, <laughs> it doesn't follow any instructions. <laughs> Yeah, we would never put ketchup or mustard when we make mince normally, but I guess it's a cheeseburger spring roll, so it's going to be cheeseburger-ish. So if you are following the instructions, we'll put it in the description down below. By the way, if you are following this recipe, it's a 10, or 10 spring roll recipe. It's not, this is not one spring roll, as we've just realised. It smell good. It smells nice. It smells cheeseburger-ish. It does. It um, smells quite strongly of mustard. I can't really smell the ketchup kind of thing, but... By the way, making this cheeseburger mince took literally five minutes, if that. Yeah. So we are just getting to the section where we do the spring rolls. And just as a pointer, um, it took me ages to find these. I actually found them in Asda. Even the staff didn't even know where they were. There was about 10 staff looking. They're actually in the freezer section. Um, I'm not sure which other supermarkets do do them, but as they definitely do. And I think they're about um, £2.25, something like that, for a big pack. So it's quite, um, but and that's for 30 sheets, so it's quite, quite a good price. Oh, they're square as well. I thought they were going to be round, like, um, like a wrap. Just the two sides roll up like a burrito. Mm. Okay, let's go. Uh oh. So two in the middle. This is just slightly smaller than a, um, a tablespoon, so I'm just going to pop it down a bit more. So this is where the egg comes in. It says to brush two opposite sides. So here and here. And then it says filled up like a burrito. Mm. Like that, I guess. I guess so. I don't know. 
Well, they're smaller than that, aren't they? Well, they will be small when I finish. Oh. Oh, so you're going to... Oh, right. Ah, right. look. <laughs> One down. And that's it. That's... Do we do anything with that now, or is that it? No, um, I'm just going to make a couple more, and then I will heat the oil, right. and then we'll pop it in the pan. Oh, so then we have to... All oh, right, so place four ro 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 rolls? rolls in hot oil and cook two minutes per side until golden brown. Ah, so I was, yeah, I was guessing that's not the finished product. No. Oil being heated up. This is number three. Look at these we can make, these look like fun. Yeah, Jack Jack Num Num cookies. They look good. There's something we can definitely make. So I think we're going to put two in instead of four. Oh, and yes, use best. use tongs so you don't burn your hands. So hot oil, cook two minutes per side until golden brown. And that's it, we're done. So it looks like we needed more oil so it didn't touch the bottom of the pan, which is why it's burnt. So I think, what, well, we're going to cook these and then put some more oil in? Yeah more oil going in so yeah this was our first attempt i don't think they look too bad do they yeah they look too bad really? i'm sure they'll taste nice yeah she basically did follow it apart from a little bit more ketchup and a little bit more mustard um but yeah she didn't really look at the recipe book or the recipe guides i kind of thought the the kind of the mince and everything would be a bit like self-explanatory which it kind of it's you just put everything together and cook it yeah. it was the last bit that i've ever done before which is what we needed so but, yeah. to follow. but if you've never cooked ever in your life, you can't really go wrong with these instructions. Really simple, easy to follow recipes that even I could follow. Claire obviously don't, she plays by her own rules. But like, I can't cook at all. It's like, I'll try and make um, an omelette and that turns into a scrambled egg. Number three, going in. So still, I'm guessing we should have covered the spring roll really. So there should be more oil in there, should there not? Well, I guess not And it says two minutes as well to leave them in the oil and well we're not we're not counting really so we might have left them in a little bit too long last time. I don't think, know. I think as well, I'm not sure about what pan it says to use, but we only have um a wok as the widest one and they're quite thin. Um so maybe we've just turned the put some more oil in so it's not touching the base of the pan and turn down the heat so it's not as hot. So I think we're just gonna check them in like a minute and a half. Oh these look much better, look. But I don't know if that's because we've had less time or because there's more oil. So there we go, we're getting our technique I'm done now. I'm just gonna just grit some more cheese because I'm So unfortunately, there's no, oh, look at the oil I've got over the book. Oh, ah, yeah. I've ruined the book. Oh. But unfortunately, there's no, there's no picture, I need turkey legs as well, look. There's no picture of what the spring rolls are supposed to look like. So the only thing that we that we can reference them against is this picture from Theme Park Foodies that they sent us. Check out their channel, by the way. So they're the cheeseburger spring rolls. We've made seven of them. And then we're gonna make the pizza spring rolls as well. So the only other ingredients we need, apart from the mint we've already got, is just some grated cheese, some pepperoni, and some tomato puree. Tomato puree. And Neat one. I, these. <laughs> I think these will be a lot nicer with the mozzarella because the mozzarella cheese melts a lot better. Put these ones over. It's difficult doing it holding the camera. So these have probably taken 10 minutes mm. to make. It's been. I like you can see the cheese. Um, super quick. I see the cheese. How nice and crispy. Oh, that looks good. Oh. oh. So that's the cheeseburger spring roll, isn't it? Yeah, that looks All nice. Right. So we get one each. And let's have a look at the pizza. Pizza spring rolls. So there's the... Yeah, so that's the pizza spring roll. Mm -hmm. I definitely need more cheese. There we are. But it looks good. Yeah, it does. You see the salami in there and... It's just that we should have probably put a bit more cheese in it. So this is the... Uh, what one's this? The cheeseburger, cheeseburger. spring roll. Here we go. Mm. 
Not bad. Not mm. bad. It's good. Mmm. I like this. So the recipe said one tablespoon of ketchup. Claire put about <laughs> half a bottle in it. <laughs> no, I did. So, one and a half. <laughs> now she's saying they need more ketchup. Just a, just a, so, a touch. But I don't know. preference. <laughs> I'd eat a lot of these. But we've never had them in a Disney park, so we haven't really got anything to compare them to. So, piece of spring roll. Let's go for it. Mm, that's the face. <laughs> <laughs> that's the face right there. That's what I wanted. <laughs> it's fine, I'm happy now. <laughs> mm. Mm. That food was good. Pizza ones for me, definitely. Mm. Enjoy watching us eat. <laughs> See how long you can make it go. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to move the camera back now. Maybe not, it's a bit messy behind you. All right, that's far enough. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna have to go up. They're just like Claire said, because obviously she knows what she's talking about. Mm. These ones were very cheesy. Mm. These these are the best ones. I think the pizza ones were the best ones. What do you think? I agree. Don't add any extra cheese. <laughs> no. Yeah, not to these ones, definitely. Maybe the other ones. These are amazing. I really like these. Yeah. Definitely, if you haven't got this book already, go buy this book, because it's super simple to follow. And who doesn't want to read Disney stuff when we can't get to the parks? So I think we're definitely going to do some more cooking vlogs from this unofficial Disney cookbook. We might even do a live stream one day. That'd be fun. Until next time, let's chip.